we're going to be covering how to manually install WordPress via File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, in this video, with DreamHost as our hosting provider. If you haven't already signed up for hosting and registered a domain, take a look at our video which covers deciding on a host. There are a number of steps to this process. First off, we're going to download WordPress as a zip file from WordPress.org. Once that's done, extract the files to a WordPress folder on your desktop. Next, we need FTP access for our website. We're going to download FileZilla as our FTP client because it's relatively easy to work with. Once you've got that installed, click on File, Site Manager, and press the New Site button. Make sure you set the dropdown to SFTP, and for DreamHost, the host is just your website address. We're going to need the login credentials to access our website via FTP, so let's go find those. In your DreamHost panel, head to Domains, Manage Domains, and in the Web Hosting column, you should see your username underneath a description of how your site is being hosted. Next, head to Users, Manage Users, and click Edit next to the username. Set a new password in the New Password field, and enter it again in the New Password Again field. Return to FileZilla, and enter the username and password into the appropriate fields. Finally, set the port to 22, and then hit the Connect button. If everything has been entered correctly, you should now be connected to your site via FTP. Next up, we're going to upload all of the WordPress files that we downloaded and extracted earlier into our WordPress folder on our desktop. Double-click on your domain in the bottom right-hand panel, and in the bottom left-hand panel, navigate to that WordPress folder on your desktop. Select all of the files in the folder, and drag them over to the right-hand side. You're now uploading all of the necessary WordPress files to your website. While those files are uploading, we're going to create the MySQL database that's needed to run WordPress. Head back to your DreamHost panel, and head to Advanced MySQL Databases. Enter WP underscore database as your database name, leave the Use Hostname dropdown set to mysql.yourdomain, and then set First User to Create a New User Now. Set a username and password for your database user, and remember them for the final step in our WordPress installation process. Once all of the files have finished uploading in FileZilla, head to your domain in a web browser. You should be prompted to enter your database details. You should have the database name, username, and password from the previous step. For the database host field, enter in mysql.yourdomain. We'll leave the table prefix set to wp underscore. Click Submit, and you should be taken to the final welcome screen. Set your site title, don't worry, you can always change it later, then create a username and password, preferably something that's hard to guess for both fields, so not admin or username for the username field, and not password for the password field. WordPress will estimate the strength of your password, and you can always click on the Use Weak Password checkbox if you really want to enter a specific password. Enter your email address, leave Search Engine Visibility checkbox unchecked, then click Install WordPress and you should be done with the installation. In our next video, we're going to cover setting up the users for your WordPress site.